Today, we're going to be talking about the Record It app, which takes your screen recording function in your iPhone and brings it to another level. I'm going to show you how to use it and what I think about it and if you should download it. Now, there's three different things that the Record It app does. You can use it as a screen recorder and it'll record from your microphone so you can talk and record your screen at the same time. But the iPhone function does that too, so that's not really a big deal. The other thing you can do is add audio commentary to existing videos in your iPhone, so that's pretty cool. But the real wow factor of the Record It app is that you can do a picture-in-picture face reaction video with the Record It app. So you can record yourself reacting to a video you're watching on your phone. That's pretty much like the standout feature of this app. So to use the most basic function of the recorded app, just open up the app and then hit this big red button to start your screen recording. Now you can select where you want your finished video to live. So I've got all my options here and this is gonna be customized to you based on the apps that you have installed in your phone already. I'm going to select record it capture, make sure that's checked. And we wanna make sure that our microphone is on if we wanted to shut it off. I could just hit this microphone button and it shuts it off. Now to start recording, let's hit start broadcast. And just like with your standard iPhone screen recorder, you can just record everything that's on your screen. And then to stop recording, you're gonna hit this red button and select stop. So now that I've got my recording here, there's a few things I can do. I can select face cam, which means that I can start a new recording with my face overlaid on the shot, I can change the size of my face. I can change where on the screen that my face is going to live. And then I can hit this record button again and start that recording process again. And here we go. The other thing you can do with your recordings is hit this video editor button and you've got a bunch of options here. The first one is trim. So you can trim up all the messiness at the beginning where you've started recording in the Record It app and then just get right to the meat of your recording that you might be interested with. Once you have your endpoint set, just hit this check mark to close it out. The other thing you can do is change the aspect ratio of your video so it can be one by one, let's say for Instagram or other different file formats. And you can actually crop the video to fill the frame, but you will lose some of your screen recording by doing that. Next up, you can change the background color and there's an array of colors you can make your background here. Let's pick this one. The next thing you can do is add filters to your video, which to be honest with you, I don't really know why you would want to do that on a screen recording, but if that was important to you, you certainly could. I'm going to set mine back at normal. And then you can also rotate your video. Now to use the commentary feature, just hit this purple commentary button. You can hit new and then select a video from either your previous recordings from Record It or your camera roll. And then just hit this button here, start audio recording and talk as the video plays back. Now, once you stop recording and export this file, the recorded app will make the video component and the audio component blend into one file, no editing necessary, which is pretty great. But now let's talk about the big wow factor of record it, which is the face cam function. To use that face cam function, you're just gonna select this red button here that says face cam, and you're going to select a video source. Now you can pick from your recordings, from the recorded app folder, your camera roll, or this for me is the big one, react to a YouTube video. So it's gonna ask you to enter the URL of a YouTube video. So all you need to do is close out of this app and go on over to YouTube and find a video that you want to react to. Hit the share button, copy the link, navigate back to the Record It app. It automatically pastes it in the field. And here we go. So you could record yourself reacting to an existing YouTube video, even if it's not your own, like this really cool Godzilla versus Kong trailer. Who's excited about this movie? I love a good monster movie. So what you can do is record yourself reacting to the amazing effects. It'll automatically play the video back for you and you can react to the video as it goes. It starts the video at the very beginning and it records your voice as well as the sound from that video. 
So once you're done with your reaction, you can actually make some modifications to this layout here. You can press this button on the right to change where in the frame your face reaction is going to lie. And you can change the size of the frame by hitting this button here. You can make it one of three sizes. And then when you're ready to share, just hit the share button. It's going to do a quick export. I have to say that this export is really quick on these videos and you can save it to your camera roll. You can upload it to other apps or you can post it directly to YouTube. So what do I think of the recorded app? Like I said earlier, I think it's a great upgrade to the built-in screen recorder in your iPhone. Obviously, I think the face cam function is so great if you're into making reaction videos like this really popular one here on YouTube. If this is your deal, you're gonna like this app a lot. I also think that the ability to add audio commentary to existing videos could be really helpful for creative professionals like me. So I could send someone a video and then they could react to it and give me feedback as they're watching it. And the other thing to know is that Record It is free. It doesn't unlock all the features that it has though. So you can only upload SD if you have the free version. And it also has ads on the free version and it has a lot of ads, but so what? It's a free app, what are you gonna do? But if you wanna purchase the pro version, it's a one-time fee of $4.99 to get all the way up to HD. And what I do like about that is it's not a subscription model, it's a one-time fee and that's really great. So what do I dislike about the recorded app? One of the major things that was missing personally for me is any sort of audio editing capabilities. You can't even turn down the volume levels on this uh, editor and it can be really problematic so in the face cam feature. If you're trying to react to a video, then you'll be talking over the video and you're just like talking over each other. So in a lot of circumstances, I can see that being very problematic. The other thing that I think could be improved is that in the editing feature, there's not enough bells and whistles. You can't add text or little animating graphics overlaid on top of your videos in Record It. Now there is a workaround. You could export from Record It and then bring that video into another app to add all of those little features. But I do think on the pro version, they should you should at least be able to add text onto the video. So uh, that's okay. Now, do I think you should download record it. I have to say, I would download the free version for sure. It's free and yeah, there are ads, but so what? It's a free, it's a free app. So who cares? And it definitely can help you make better screen recordings and edit them a little bit after. But for the $4.99, unless you're gonna be making a lot of reaction videos and you just wanna do it down and dirty and really quickly without any editing, I don't know that you need to spend $4.99 on this app yet. It's pretty good, but there is room for improvement. So are you using the Recorded app? What do you like about it? What do you dislike about it? And what other apps in the App Store should I be checking out? You guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again.